And we're back with more exciting adventures of The Incredible Hoax. I am Chris. I am Mark. Today, I have a topic to bring to the table. Alien. Or aliens. Or alien... Three. Or alien... Or is it cubed? Or alien... Whatever the... Retribution. Resolution. Alien harder. What was the last fourth one? Ra <laughs> alien retro... Uh, there was Alien Resurrection. Was, Resurrection. Was, uh, 97... Maybe. Prometheus, and now Alien Covenant. Okay, so you haven't seen Covenant, but you don't need to. I told you the plot, so you can totally save your life. Okay. Not a horrible movie, but not great. Here's my, my topic. They keep going back to roots of Alien 1. And I love Alien 1. I've got the Blu-ray. I don't have many Blu-rays, but I have Alien 1, the yeah. Blu-ray. Uh, guess what, though? also have Aliens, the second one, Blu-ray. Yeah. I pretend the others don't exist. Kind of like The Matrix and Robocop and a few other series. Right. You just had those two, and that's it. Instead of going back to the roots, why don't they do the fans the pleasure of going back to Aliens on this next movie? I was kind of hoping they would do The Covenant, and I feel like they may have nodded to it a little bit. Could they make the next Alien movie go back to... Space Marines versus the aliens. Because let's get be honest, that's what we all want to see. Kind of like with the prequels. You and I have said it for years. We just want to see Darth Vader killing everybody. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Can we just see Space Marines versus the aliens, for the love of God, in an all-out warfare from hell? And yeah, like, well, it's been done in Aliens. It's called Aliens. <laughs> well, guess what? They make sequels that are basically rip-offs of the other ones before all the time. So why can't we have it with Aliens, for the love of God? Right. That's what the people want. The people want to see Space Marines versus Aliens. Amen. Your thoughts? Uh, you know, in other shows, we've touched on this before. And uh, I agree 100% with the notion that they have been trying to go back to basics... To the alien and get it back to like a horror film and then this simple tale, you know, of man versus uh, beast, mm -hmm. man versus monster. And it's like, okay, fine, that was alien. And if you want to try that on like maybe one, the one off movie as a sequel or even a spin off. But for the love of Pete, Aliens was a runaway success. They act like aliens. She was nominated for Best Actress, and they won, like, it was nominated for all kinds of Yeah, awards, and, direct, so. and James Cameron, director, he, uh, people uh, know who he is, directed this badass movie. It was a runaway huge success. Critical success. Critical success, and it is a great movie. It is one of the great sci-fi adventures ever made. Uh -huh. Easily. The third act ranks up there in the top 50 probably great third acts of all time. Um... And they keep going, okay, now we're going to do a, a sequel to Alien, and it's not Marines versus Aliens. You're like, you're like, I don't get what you're doing. We've already done Alien. You started small. That's your introduction. We've already had the introduction. We want Halo, but with the Xenomorphs. Yeah, thank Would you. you please do that for us? That's all we're looking for. Thank you. That's, That's exactly all the right. sci-fi fans, or just fans in general, are looking for at this point. We're not looking for a back-to-basic story. Because you can see that on Sci-Fi Channel. Big whoop. Well, Ridley Scott, unfortunately, and I love Ridley Scott. Don't get me wrong. And and he definitely took a step up with Covenant over Prometheus. Covenant's way better than Prometheus. Okay. He's got some major flaws, but it's way better than Prometheus. You can tell he increased the pacing and things like that. But having said that, he still lingers on the subjects that nobody cares about. He's obsessed with this creation of humanity crap. And this perf perfected organism crap. Right. People just want to see the, the, the action element of a parasitic alien that needs a human host. So humans fighting to not <laughs> be taken over. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's Forget it. this higher themed metaphysical crap and just focus on raw predator versus a human. Right. You know, predator versus prey. It, it, when you have a villain, <clears throat> an enemy, a antagonist like the Xenomorphs, 
just the way the creation of them themselves, they're just like this perfect killing machine. So they are, in many ways, they are kind of the ultimate challenge. Mm -hmm. And just going one on one with one is is it's like we've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. You know, just one. Did you not see the possibilities that was opened up by Aliens, the '86 classic? Yeah. And 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 I don't get it. It's one thing to say, well, it was early 90s and we did Alien 3 and we CGI was still young and we didn't have that kind of money. Okay, fine, that's an excuse for that movie. Now you've got kids' movies that's got <laughs> CGI all over the place of fake dogs yeah. running all over the place, so they can't give us an excuse. You can, it's like you can have all the xenomorphs running around that you want. And on Prometheus and Covenant, it's just back to just one Xenomorph, you're like, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's that's boring. We've already done that. That's not a challenge. Give us the challenge that, that yeah. the cinema the cinema goers crave. Well, it, it, you have a filmmaker who's been put back in charge of a franchise that is out of touch with what people want with the franchise, and um, makes me a little apprehensive about Blade Runner as well because. You know, people could criticize, but the original, when we saw Blade Runner the first time, and for the first ten years of Wood's life, we never wondered if Harrison Ford was a replicant. No. That never come up. No, that's all that was a recon. That's that that was crap. revisionist history yeah. that he came up with later. Yeah, that was not ever something we thought of. No, and nobody I knew was even talking about it no, until he not. brought it up. Yep, and he's doing the same thing with Alien, where he's like, "Well, it's all about the creation of humanity." What's that got to do with a killing machine versus humans? All right, so if anybody's listening to this, if you're a fan of Alien, for the love of God, let's shout up a mountaintop for the next Alien movie, if it even gets made, because this one didn't do that well at the box office, but if it hasn't been killed for forever, can right. we next get, please, for the love of Pete, Space Marines versus Aliens? Right. Well, the Alien script... And that whole story was created by Dan Bannon, mm -hmm. who is a classmate of director John Carpenter, by the way. Dan Bannon was all about, like, okay, it's just a monster movie. Okay, here's the monster. And monster's dead. Okay, roll credits. I mean, he was very much trying to just make a traditional movie. Yeah. Horror movie. We're about to run out of time. We can't, the camera's run out of time. I'll try to just make sure we got, like, seconds left. Okay. All right, so... All right, we agree. Space we agree. Marines versus. <laughs> so now as the camera is about to die, adieu. <laughs>